Hello you guys, Virgo for you here and welcome to the Let's Play of Dying Light Part 2. Now in the last episode, uh, we ended up getting rescued by that girl Jade and we ended up meeting um, Raheem, which is her brother, I'm guessing because yeah, they're family. And uh, now we are going on this quest with Raheem to do some exercising and learn some tips. Alright, where'd he go? Is there anything here that I need? Okay, he went over here. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Okay. This is good exercise. Where'd you guys? Where'd he go? Oh. Where'd you go? Oh, he's upstairs. <laughs> nice. All right. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Oh. What? Get a right start. Ooh, Not yeah. bad for a noob. <laughs> Whatever, kid. <laughs> I can be a jumper. Best thing I can be a jumper. <laughs> oh God! What the hell? There we go. There we go. All right, get up on that scaffold and don't fall, because there's sure as hell eating on that. Okay, where do I go next, kid? Oh. How do you expect me to? <sighs> You're nuts to jump at it and grab. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay. Where? Where? Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Good job. Okay. Time for the real test. Get back to the crate. Make use of anything and everything while you run. Okay. You're nuts, kid. You're nuts. Okay. Make sure I have enough space. Wow. What okay, a rush. that's enough. You've got some serious natural talent, man. Either that, or you've done this before. You've done this before? No. Hardly. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Huh. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Oh, God. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I'm like going all the way up. I don't think I was supposed to do that, was I? Where are you at? Are you like on the other side? Yeah, you are. So I have to go up here. Of course. Nuts, but I guess it's all about survival, right? So 
survival to the fittest. Watch out for that. What? What is happening to me? Shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Raheem, what just happened to me? Oh, shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. Perfect. I have the seizure right on the crane. Awesome. Okay. Alright. Alright. We're good. We're good. Huh. That's Raheem about the seizure. Where is Raheem? Where do I go? Where, where, where do I go? There you are. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Okay. Dream about the seizures, that's already done. Use elevators. Alright. Ooh, storage stuff over there. Oh, I love the gameplay. <laughs> Never. <laughs> How are we ever gonna get out of here? Never. You're like in the safest place. Why would you want to leave? You know? Oh, I have to hold that. Alright. Oh, floor number one. Are you the guy? No. You're the guy. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, anyway. Items in stock is a water pipe, lockpick, medkit, and medical supplies. Okay. Take. Alright. Uh, others. Items in stock. Lock pick. Yep, I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Oh, are you in line? Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Never. I think I already established that for you. Oh, are we going down, down, down? History, of course. Hi. Going outside, yeah? Mm hmm. Get a shot of Anderson from Dr. Zir. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Whoa. Okay. Do I have to come out here, right? I have to go out here, right? Just hoping. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. Okay. It's Crane, kid. Alright, alright. Crane. 
Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. All right, where? And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. Take it. Take anything. Oh yeah, zombies. Crash a party. <laughs> Woo! You the guy that I need to see, or girl. You're like up here. No? Okay. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. I guess we're going in here. Um, hello? Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden! Are you there? Damn it. Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Oh. Inevitable. So, th there's no cure. It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit! You really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, now, where did I put that injector? Uh, you just gave it to me. And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city. Hoping some of the infected. Stop, guy. Them, what are you doing? So I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Oh, yeah. It bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case. All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? The way he got up and started walking towards the uh, the doctor. Keep it fast. Thought he was gonna. Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. Not out to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zara's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Or. Okay, it's you. Hey, Spike. I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, <laughs> shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Mm -hmm. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. Mm -hmm. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Okay. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Okay. Well, what else do we have? Anything else in here? There's nothing else. 
Prepare a trap for Bracken. Damn it, I have to go back out here. Looting is the key to survival. Search the dead bodies, chest, abandoned cars, pieces of furniture, and even trash bins to find crafting uh, components, weapons, and money. Press Q to use your survivor sense to identify objects you can loot. Yep. L looting is the key to survival. Searching the environments for huge locked chests left uh, by the survivors. They're usually placed on rooftops beyond the reach of zombies and contain weapons or other valuable things. Okay. Search bodies, chests, and abandoned cars. That's why I just read. So. Okay. Yep. Alright. Let's go. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, okay. Let's go. Don't make any noises. It's a whole bunch of nonsense over there, so. Ooh. Do you got anything on you? <sighs> no, you don't. Of course not. Oh god. I think I just triggered shit. Okay. Let's chow down, shall we? I need your money. Oh shit! Uh oh. I think I just triggered stuff. Outside, I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it. Where? Okay, this is where I need to go anyway. One second, one second. Before. Before, 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 before. Okay. <laughs> Anything? Seven bucks. Come on. Yeah. You see what's happening to your friend, right? Stay down so I can search your face. Alcohol. Whoa. We're out of combat. Let's fall back, okay? We got runners.
time to just go. Stop messing around. We need to get there and fast. Wow! Nice. Can't catch me. I can't mess with you right now. Oh, yeah. Let's go up. God, it's becoming night. Need to hurry. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> wow. This is a lot of zombies. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. Okay. Where? Where? Good thing you guys can't climb yet. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Craig. Look. Come here. Come here. for this guy. Shit. All right. Finish it. Just come here. Okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Okay. Blueprints. Right. Ah, shit. Down to the building. Pass is coming. Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. All right. Up and down the poles. inside this building. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. All right. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane. Thank you. 
Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. All right. Got it. All right, you guys, I'm going to stop it right here. If you're interested in what happens next, please be sure to check out Dying Light Part 3. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!